week on Undercover Boss Canada, the nation's biggest homegrown chicken chain is expanding. We've just started developing internationally in the last three years, so obviously we're taking the market share. Greg Roberts rules the roost, but to give business a boost, he's taking extraordinary steps. He's about to work in disguise. This is starting to get a little bit crazy. And he'll discover life isn't always taters and gravy. Man, no, no, no. I won't be saying, Sheldon, this is a leg and a thigh all day. You should know that now. Don't forget to wave. And when he's finished doing his chicken run, he'll call the workers he's met into HQ for the biggest surprise of the season. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's, like, better than winning the lottery. With the world economy in a fragile state, top corporations must adapt to survive. The bosses of some of Canada's biggest companies are about to take extreme action. To stay ahead of the game, they're going undercover in their own organizations. Mary Brown's famous chicken and taters opened for business in Newfoundland in 1969. Their fresh, not frozen approach to fast food has helped them ring in sales of $100 million. Soon, they'll be opening their 100th store. In the last six years, we've more than doubled locations and we've nearly tripled sales. And in the next year or two, we're open to be in every province. We've just started developing internationally in the last three years, primarily emerging markets. In 2007, I became the CEO of the company. Prior to that, I was a franchisee. I knew this company could be a lot more. It had a great product, but we didn't have the strategy behind the company. So we knew if I bought the company, bought the brand, then I can control it, and we can bring the input from franchisees in and build a stronger company. So that's exactly what we did. I grew up on a tiny island off the northeast coast of Newfoundland called Triton. Very small community with a family of uh, 11 kids. I was the second youngest. My father owned a small business, a gas station in our community, and all of us had to work in that gas station. That taught me a lot about business. It taught me about dealing with the public, the customer experience, and at a young age, it really impressed on me some future values. My parents struggled because they didn't have a big education. So when I finished high school, I moved to St. John's and attended Memorial University of Newfoundland, and I studied business. Oh no, what happened to it? I met my wife back when I was attending university. My wife is from Pillies Island. That's nearby where I grew up. I met her when I was home for a summer, and that was 19 and a half years ago. We've been together ever since, and we still live in Newfoundland. I guess some suits. No, nope, no suits. I'm going cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, can you imagine? <laughs> Perfect, hold on. Family is the most important thing in my life. I have a seven-year-old, and when she was younger, I was really busy, and I probably wished I had my time back when she was one, two, and three a little bit. Now I have a two-year-old, and with the two-year-old, I have appreciation that every moment is important and it's going to go by fast. So I wanted to make sure I enjoy this part of their life. <laughs> I can have the best of both worlds. I can be involved with my family and still do what's right for the company. We're at a crossroads right now. The competition is fierce in our industry. We are competing with multinational corporations. As CEO, my big uh, issue right now is trying to manage this growth. And a lot of these franchisees have put their life savings into these companies. I'm responsible to make sure they do well. How are you doing today? Good day. Good day. Hi. Thank you all for coming. Now, as you know, I've always believed in taking risk. I'm going to go undercover. I'm going to work in disguise and work in our kitchens. I find out firsthand what it's like to work in our stores. Do you think this is going to be good for the brand? Absolutely. For a long time, Mary Brown's has been operating under the radar. Right now, more than ever, we've got to get everything right on the home front before we go further globally. So wish me luck. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Why I'm undercover, I will be assuming the identity of Sheldon Budgel. 
telling everyone I'm from Pelly's Island, Newfoundland, where I used to run the family's gas station. I'll be posing as a new employee who's being followed by a film crew making a documentary about the rapidly expanding chicken industry. Daddy. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's good. It's a good disguise. I don't think you'd be recognized. Hey, cowboy. <laughs> what do you think? We've been married 10 years, and I haven't seen Greg clean any washrooms, mop any floors, or do any cooking. So this is going to be a great experience. Bye. 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 Bye
go to my teachers. Do you must be uh, some proud your kids both went okay. off and got a good education. Oh, yes, that's all I ever wanted for John, Cherry. Like, uh, my family is very important. Like, Cher, uh, Jack, uh, John and Jack is in Alberta. So I don't see them very often. Not much time in these kitchens for uh, socializing. <laughs> uh, no. Work, 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 eh? No, yeah, you gotta work it. Sheldon, it was good to work with you today. As it's glad to meet you and uh, hope you had a good day. Oh, thanks for having me. Yes. Okay. Take care. Thank bye bye. You. Uh, Sheldon would probably be better in another field of work because this is a really fast restaurant. Yeah. I was so impressed with Joyce. She's setting such a great example here at the store. She's like the mother in. She got the place going like a finely tuned clock. The promotion is working. The store is really busy. The staff is doing an excellent job. I've seen a few things I want to pick up on later back at the office, but overall, I'm pretty pleased with how the promotion is working at this store. All right, Sheldon. Coming up, the CEO turns chicken. You got the best chicken legs in town. This is the first time I've been in this chicken suit. When I bought the company, I really thought my chicken costume days were behind me. And later, it's the job he fears the most. Oh, my goodness gracious. I think I'm going to skip lunch today. Oh, my God. The boss of Mary Brown's famous chicken and taters used to live the high life. But he's been brought down to earth. So don't burn me. Come on, hurry up. And just a thigh there. I won't be saying, uh, Sheldon, this is a leg and a thigh all day. You should know that now. Yeah. Today, I'm in St. John's, Newfoundland. I'm working the drive thru in one of our busiest stores on the East Coast. Drive throughs are huge for us, and here is actually 55% of our business. I am Sheldon. I'm here. Oh, to... OK, you can come right in around here now. I'm Corrine. Here's your headset. You could put it on whichever ear feels most comfortable to you. Corrine keeps the drive through flowing, packing orders, cashing out, and serving food to around 200 customers a day. Thank you. We're on drive through today, so you won't have to worry about preparing anything. Okay. You'll just be taking customers' orders in okay. exchange of money and food. I'm a pretty introvert person, so will I be prompted in what to say? Well, you'll be observing me okay, first. So it, okay. But I usually say, welcome to Mary Brown's. Can I take your order, please? It's so intimidating. Ooh, we have a drive through oh. So you can observe yep. and listen. Hi, welcome to Mary Brown's. Can I take your order, please? Would you like the meal or just the sandwich? Would you like a drink with that? And would that be everything? Your total is 732. Please drive through. You're welcome. Like you mentioned, would you like this? Would you would like that? How do you, you, why do you do that? Every business wants to be successful. If we have a cashier on who's just ringing in a Big Mary all the time and not offering to sell it, it's very important to try to push your products, even if it's just to sell a, a small gravy right. with a snack. Okay. The more profitable you are, the better off. Right. Would you like that in a meal with a salad and drink? Would you like a drink with that? Would you like that in a meal or just the wrap? I love how Corinne understands upsells. Upsells are huge for our organization. We know we need a small coleslaw and we need a can of Pepsi, so we'll get our Pepsi here. Remember, our salads are over here. Coleslaw's on the left. Coleslaw, potato, macaroni. We don't mix the hot and cold, so we'll take one of these bags, put in the drink and the salad. Okay, so that's our meal, so I'm gonna get you to start bagging some water. The bags sometimes tend to close up as you're putting stuff in. Make sure to say, have a great day. Thank you. Have a good day. Now we have another one. So you can go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> I welcome to Mary Brown's. May I take your order, please? Just ask them if that's everything. Well, that'd be everything. OK, settle, 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 settle. I got to get 7.2. So now it's someone else. I'll just tell them to hang on. <laughs> Man down. This is not easy. There's times here I feel like a deer caught in the headlights. Uh, sorry about that. Well, okay. no. Whoop. You don't have their money. Hi, is there a fork in the bed? Yes. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye-bye. The thing with drive through we have to pick up is speed. Right. Sometimes you could have, like, one after the other, after the other, after the other. See? 
Hello, 2386, please. 1395. 1407. 1470, please. I'll never complain at a drive-thru again <laughs> when I'm as a customer. <laughs> Kareen is amazing. I'm learning so much here today. Great, great member of the team here. Would you like ketchup, salt, or vinegar? No, but uh, Bud will have a cookie. OK. I'll say. Bud will have a cookie. Oh, yes, the dog. Oh, you got We uh... get a lot of dogs on drive through <laughs> Oh, Hail is like. We actually have regular customers really? who come through with dogs, <laughs> and the dogs know when they're at Mary Brown. Really? Do a lot of people around the city do that? No. There's something new specific to air? Our owners are animal lovers. OK. Great new idea with the dogs. I think we should probably look at doing a product for our pets that are coming through our dry trees. So we'll settle that one. And when she gets to the window, we can tell her $9. I uh, know. And I think he progressed really well throughout the day. Just not well enough to be on his own quite yet. So where did you grow up to here in Newfoundland? Pilly's Island. Where are you from? I'm from Fogo Island. Are your parents still alive? My dad's still out there. So your father's in Fogo. Where does your mom live? Yeah, somewhere here in St. John's. Oh, really? You don't know? She never wanted children. And she let my brother and I know every single day how much she did not want us. And it's, it's sad, but I'm a much better person without her around. I mean, you think about it. You have someone in your life. You've got a friend in your life. He insults you and puts you down every single day. You're still going to be friends with him? No. That's what I do. I just try to surround myself with positive people. And I find that's the easy way to go through life. And my dad is phenomenal. I hit the absolute jackpot with my dad. Really? Does he ever come in here much? It's hard for him to get in here. Why is that? Well, because summertime he's working, and then winter it's so unpredictable with the weather and the roads. And I did get to go home, not summer last year, the summer really? before for two weeks. And we spent like the whole two weeks together going he... for walks and stuff. Dad taught me everything, including like I love hockey because of Dad. And we both love the Detroit Red Wings. Oh, yeah? So I'd love to be able to financially afford to take him down to Detroit to see a Red Wings game. Oh, yeah? Because my dad does mean everything to me. You OK? I'm sorry just for okay. bringing that on. No. I'm sorry for being uh, just probing so much. It's just. Mm -mm. You never had it easy, Corinne. <laughs> Do people here know that you your history and your father? They do. Yeah. Because they're not just my coworkers, they're my friends. Corinne had to overcome all these obstacles. Well, let's get back at it, I guess. Thanks, dear. I'm so glad I didn't have to grow up that way. Yeah. I've learned a lot about my business day, but more importantly, I, I learned about the, the people in our company that makes the company all ties back to why it's successful. Coming up, Greg's on a chicken run. You stay out here for about 10, 15 minutes. I know I'm undercover, but this is starting to get a little bit crazy. Greg Roberts, the CEO of Mary Brown's famous chicken and taters, is flying under the radar. Oh, come on, hurry up. Two. No, 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 no. Oop. You don't have their money. I'm in Alfax today, where I'll be working at an underperforming store. A lot of these people have put their life savings into these companies. I'm responsible to make sure they do it well. John? How you doing? Sheldon? Yep. Right now, just give me two seconds there, Sheldon. I'll be right with you, bud. Yeah, cool. Got your uniform and everything? Yes. John has to prepare over 300 fresh chickens a day. All right, Sheldon, we're going to work over there, bud, in that, that grease trap. We're going to clean that all out, OK, bud? Yep. All right, show you what we do in here. A lot of this is just compost breaking down. So what you want to do, just get your liquid out. As you get down to the bottom, Sheldon, you'll, you'll get more of a smell off it. So okay. we want to try and get that done. Get the lid on right away. Yeah. Welcome to Mary Brown's. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I'll leave that with you. I'm just going to work over here a little bit, clean some stuff up. Traps and filters prevent kitchen waste from entering the city sanitation system. I've heard about grease traps before. It's the first time I've ever seen one. Some things are fun and some things are not, right? You know, right it's like, there's days I, I, I pull my hair out. Mary Brown's gets so busy, right? I say, oh, yeah? I'm done. I, I, I can't handle it. But in my other mind, I'm saying, a couple more hours, it'll be all over. Right on. You know, I get past that 
point in my mind that I know it's only for a short period of time when I can catch my wind again. Oh, my goodness gracious. The stuff smells Ay, <laughs> caramba. What in the world is this? Oh, my god. I'm just worried god, about it. I'm glad you came in today. I'm glad that they hired someone, especially <laughs> today. Especially today. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this is awesome, yeah. You're gonna work out, Sheldon. I can tell right now, man. You got a good attitude about that. That's what Mary Brown's need, more people like you, you know? Not all glamorous in the kitchen. It's not all gold and flatware. I think I'm gonna skip lunch today. <sighs> all right, Sheldon, we got another little job we gotta do, bud. We, get, we have a chicken soup. We promote ourselves. There's so much competition. I gotta make people wanna come in my store. Try this on. How it works, you put your bottom part on first. I know I'm undercover, but this is starting to get a little bit crazy. What do you think? He even smile like a chicken. <laughs> See all the G's. I didn't, you, you could probably even talk like one if you tried. <laughs> clap, clap. You got the best chicken legs in town. <laughs> You're Mary Brown chicken. Way to sign. And then they say, Mary Brown, <laughs> best chicken in town. It sounds crazy, Sheldon, but it works, bud. You stay out here for about 10, 15 minutes. I gotta okay. go back in and get some stuff done. It's also good to wave to the people once in a while, show them that you care. See, it works. Don't forget to wave. I don't think we have enough signage on this corner. Lots of traffic, but no signage. And because we don't have a drive-through, the amount of signage here is even more important. Traffic, it's unreal, and why aren't they coming in? So we do have the volume here. Yeah. We just gotta get people to change their eating right. habits. They're not used to this company. Yeah. What's Mary Brown? Yeah. But that's what I came here, to get this opportunity to take this business to a new level. Right, so you usually work eight hours here? Seven and a half hours here. I'll go somewhere else to work later on, maybe, you know what I mean? So you work somewhere else? Oh, after? yeah, yeah, I work about 75 hours a week. Really? Mm -hmm. Not a restaurant type business? Yeah, not a restaurant, yeah. What did you do before Mary Brown's? I sailed for uh, two years. Why did you give up sailing? I was having a panic attacks in China. And I was saying, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, 100 miles out on sea. I said, this can't be happening to me. I'm only 37 years old. It was a wake-up call, fast wake-up call. A lot of it was to do with not being home, not getting along with my ex at the time. I wanted to spend some time with my kids, but... How old are the kids? The other 14 and 12, two girls. They're starting to come around a little more, but I think they still have that little bit of resentment. And, they're, and I mean, I can understand that. You know, you try your best to be a provider, but you're not there to be a dad. I got a lot of friends like that. They got to go away in order to work. And because they're going away, they're not with their kids. That's what you run into. Either I have a lot of money in the bank and I can, and I can do stuff with them, but half the time you're not there, or you stay on land and work too much to try to get a few dollars, extra dollars in your pocket, and you're still not home. How often do you see them in person? I don't. Uh, once every six months. I had a great day with John. He's a great manager. He runs the store like it's his own. I came here this morning because this is a 100 performing store. Two of the biggest items there is location. We need some better signage to get people in. The other item is we need better pricing strategy that meets this area. Coming up, Greg gets the bird. Our chicken supplier shorted us. We may wind up having to go to the grocery store. A chicken restaurant with no chicken. It's absolutely ridiculous that we would even contemplate running a chicken. And later, a worker's shocking revelation. You know, it has been a rough part of town. I've had to face a lot of armed robbers. Boss Greg Roberts has flown the coop. Oh, my God, I, I'm glad you came in today. But working undercover, he struggled to meet the high standards set by his staff. Well, that'd be everything. The thing with drive through we have to pick up is speed. Don't forget the wave. This is starting to get a little bit crazy. Today, I'm in Ontario in one of our most challenging markets. But there's a store in Belleville that's surprising everyone. Business is great. I'm wondering if they got a great location. I'm wondering if it's just a market. I'm hoping my experience here will help me formulate a new strategy for Ontario. Hello. Hey, Karen. How are you? Good. My name 
Ms. Sheldon? Nice to meet you, Sheldon. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. This is what we, we, the issues that we have on Monday mornings. We have inventory that I normally come in and start at 7 o'clock in the morning, as well as payroll has to go out today, and there's a lot of other little things from the weekend that I have to get done. So when was this stuff delivered this morning? Sometime last night, which does create a bit of a problem. I'm wondering why our distributors are bringing stuff in when they do. And it seems like the uh, management believes they've got no choice. They do have a choice. They should be more demanding. If they got a problem, they should tell us. Currently, we're experiencing an issue with our chicken supplier, and we are supposed to be getting our chicken sometime early this morning. Okay, what so, happens uh, if you don't get it? That's not going to happen. I'm going to try okay. and think positively that we're going <laughs> to get the chicken. So Brad's just on the phone trying to get that figured okay. out. It's absolutely ridiculous that we would even contemplate running a chicken. I really want to get on the phone now and and make some stuff happen. Well, if I borrow from another store, the closest store is 45 minutes away, so. So, Karen. Yes. Gotta send you on a mission. The store will be opening in 40 minutes, but there's no sign of the delivery guy. They're not gonna be here until noon. So, if you can go and buy 15 birds. Okay. Well, the pressure's on. Keep our fingers crossed that we'll be able to find chicken. It was a little bit stressful, making sure that we had the product. We pay for it, and it's all good. Thank you so much. So do you do this often? It's the first time this has happened, and hopefully it's going to turn out mistakes do, do get made. Do you normally have a good relationship with the supplier, or do you normally? We have a great relationship with, okay, with, with, so with all three of our suppliers. Yes, we do. So this is one in a million, and I believe just so. working with it? Oh my goodness, it's 10.58 and we open in two minutes. Yes. When I'm training people, I like them to just jump right in. Hi, welcome to Mary Brown's. Uh, Two-piece lunch special? Two-piece lunch special. The lunch special on your coupon. Yeah, you just did one. Bottom left, pink. You want taters? Taters. I'll take fries. Okay. Oops, okay. easy. And, uh... No. Potato? No. That's macaroni. It's getting a little bit stressful. <laughs> He's taking quite a bit longer than the average person does. I feel if I had a few days practice, I probably could be a lot better. And now, because we have a lineup, Trish, can we switch you, please? OK, these are both to go, so you can set yourself up there, please. Uh, 143. Is that the right one? No, it's 142. 142, please. Yeah. Big Mary's go on top. There you go. 150. 153. 171. Ooh, you're getting there before me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. What you're doing is completely impressive to me because to, to watch you do that, to take it over without even, okay, thank is you. really nice. It's a personal touch, and that's exactly what I love to see. So you said you're originally from Belleville? I am. Uh, born and raised? Born and raised. Is your parents still here? Um, unfortunately, I lost my mom and dad last year. Really? My father passed away on Valentine's Day, and my mother passed away at the end of July from leukemia. So you're starting a new job with all of this on your mind? It, yeah, yeah. It was, it was difficult, but I persevered, and, and without the support of my friends and my family, and my husband, especially, yeah. How are you old enough today? My husband is my best supporter. Yeah. He's been battling an illness for the last year and a half, and he's recovering um, very well. He has um, lymphoma. Really? Yeah. 2012 was not a very kind year to, so, to us. Is there anything you could have? What would it be? What I could have is my husband knowing that my husband's going to be healthy and stay that way for the rest of his life. And that's a, that's a pretty hard thing for anybody to promise. We've, we've always wanted to try and get away from all this. We haven't been able to. Um, every time we've tried to, there's been a need for us to be here. It was truly remarkable to spend time with Karen. I came in this morning. She's so upbeat and professional. You would have no idea anything is going on in her life. It looks like this is the end of your day. I'd like to thank you so much for coming in here. The store is doing really well, but I believe there's opportunity for even more growth in this market. 
When we get back, I like to look at deliveries and other opportunities, local store marketing, and I like to put together a program for these new franchisees. Coming up, a dangerous liaison. I feel like I'm in an episode of On Patrol. With cops. Cops. <laughs> and later, Joyce, Corrine, John, and Karen get their wings. <laughs> That's like better than winning the lottery. Mary Brown's famous chicken and taters boss is used to traveling by private jet and calling the shots from a cozy corner office. But he hasn't impressed his staff. He's taking quite a bit longer than the average person does. Because we have a lineup, Trish, can we switch you? I'm in St. John's, Newfoundland. I'm going to be working at a store that makes more own deliveries than anyone else. 1500 per month. Most of our product these days is taken out, so I want to see if delivery can really work for us. I really worry that delivery is not giving the customer the best product. Good day, sir. How are you? Good, good. Good. Merci, Gary. Come on this way. Back here. It's Greg's last day undercover. He'll be working with Gary, who cooks, cleans, what and makes do? deliveries. Gary will take you to the ropes of cooking the finest chicken in the land. Cool. Watch uh, what we're doing. This is fresh chicken. We use only fresh chicken. We cut it all on site here. Now, here's the fun part, Sheldon, with this. Gary is hearing impaired. Deaf all of his life. When, when I first hired him, a lot of staff were concerned about, how is he going to know what we need? You know, so you quickly realize that if I do this, he knows I need chicken fingers. We're going to show you how we take it from the raw state to the delicious state. This is the Big Mary sandwich. And what we want to do is we want to fillet that down. It helps in the cooking process. It helps the, the, the heat to penetrate into the thick part of the meat. Gary preps about 40 pieces of fresh chicken at a time to keep up with demand. What we want to do is we want to fillet that down. Typical what you would do with a fillet of fish. So, so what you want to do is bring the knife, not all the way, so it doesn't... left-handed and right-handed to do this. And one, two, three. Still got 10. <laughs> so Gary, how old are you now? How old? 42. 42, all right. I'm uh, 40. <laughs> 42, and he just got engaged. Oh, really? Oh, congratulations. So his, uh, <laughs> Linda normally comes in when he's working at nighttime. She usually drops over his supper to him. That's it. I know it's, it's not been easy for him. And, and Linda's fiance, over the years, they've had their struggles, like everybody. But uh, when you see someone like Gary who works as hard as he does, you want to help him any way you can. I, I met Gary about four years ago. <laughs> Three and a half? <laughs> I bought a company that he was uh, he was working for. And we just built a relationship from there. I mean, Gary gave 110% every day. And the year that Gary's been here with me, I think he's, he's been sick once. Yeah. But I could probably consider Gary to be a brother. Uh, so I think a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he says yes, but he'll tell a lie anyway. Gary, you're going on food. We're the fast food business, so we got to do everything fast. This is my rock. That's what I call him. Gary, works hard. There's no doubt about that. Getting faster on <laughs> Speeding up already. I bet. <laughs> see, huh? So how long have you been with Mary Brown's? So I've had this location in six and a half years. One of the issues that I've had to face here is uh, a lot of armed robberies. I think to date, since I've bought this restaurant, I'm up to, uh, I believe it's seven. Holy cow. Seven armed robberies. But it's one of the reasons why I've cut back in my hours of operation. I don't stay open late at night anymore like I used to, out front anyway. The staff, their safety is utmost. We're having a lot of issue just, tr just trying to get people to come to work. I didn't realize how uh, dangerous this neighborhood is, and I didn't realize what that means for staffing. <laughs> Now, Sheldon, this is his fiancée, Linda, and I believe Linda brought some supper. I just hope she brought enough for everybody. Nice to meet you. Sheldon. Nice Sheldon. Sheldon. He's teaching me to cook. <laughs> Gary, along with cooking, also does some home delivery. Oh, really? <laughs> At the end of the day, it's all about uh, making a few extra dollars as well. And, uh, you know, I guess with him and Linda just getting engaged, and who knows, they're maybe planning the family, so it's all good for him. Oh, 
Oh, no. this is your house? Right now, Gable is just across the road from the restaurant. They have an apartment in Melinda. I feel like I'm in an episode of On Patrol. With cops. Cops. <laughs> hey, cops. Chicken cops. <laughs> yeah, chicken cops. <laughs> So is this a big part of your business, deliveries? A uh, major part of our business. Are you worried about the product being cold? We try to limit it to three to four deliveries per driver. But because of that specific reason, they're going to get cold. But I'll be honest with you, we very rarely get, get callbacks with, with pro uh, product issues. Do you ever think about moving to a newer location or safer location? We've had discussions about it. And the building that we're in, it's, it's an older location. There you go, Sheldon, your first home delivery. <laughs> Hi, good evening. You order Mary Browns? Good evening. You order Mary Browns? There you go, buddy. It's the last delivery for tonight. Yeah, well, I learned a lot. Thanks for everything, Jeff. Gary, thanks for everything. Well, I came here today to learn more about deliveries. Jeff and Gary really know what they're doing. They had the logistics figured out. Uh, we're going to implement and use a lot of that information back at that office. Looking forward to getting back. Can't wait to get back to my family, my home. This has been a once in a lifetime opportunity. I really feel I got to the substance of what's taking place in my company this week. Based on the people I've met, I'm going to use this experience for the rest of my life. Coming up. Greg calls the workers he met to HQ. They'll all be getting big rewards. Someone's life is truly going to be changed forever. Are you sure? Yes. Oh my gosh. CEO Greg Roberts has discovered that blondes don't always have more fun, so he's back working his old look. Joyce, Corrine, John, Karen, Jeff, and Gary are on their way to HQ. They think they'll be evaluating their trainee, but Greg has other ideas. Did you work with the trainee? Sheldon? Yes, I did. Yeah, you know, Sheldon was actually me, Greg Roberts. I'm the CEO of Mary Brown's. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hello, Mr. Roberts. Oh, OK. Oh, OK. Wow. John, you made me wear a chicken suit. Yeah. <laughs> I think you made the store more busier that day, too. Really? Yeah. It didn't work? It worked. I understand you got some ideas for that area. I have lots of ideas if someone just sit down and listen to me. Well, that's what I'm here for. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work with you personally to make sure we get those sales up and we get those people in the door. OK. We don't. Next year, I'm going to come back to your store, and I'm going to clean that grease trap again. <laughs> I give you my promise. That sounds excellent. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think you're an extraordinary worker. I'm proud you work with my company. And I know when you left that day, you went to work somewhere else. And uh, what I want to do for you is uh, I'd like to give you a $5,000 cash bonus. Um, we had a great discussion about your kids. And right. for me, John, what helped me a lot was my education. So what I want to do for your two kids is I want to pay for all the college oh, and yeah? university wow. education. That'd be excellent. You haven't got to worry about a thing. I'm going to pay for it all. Thanks. Well, thank you so much again. Appreciate your time, sir. Amazing. Did you I slow me. you down on Big Merry Mondays? I had told you to put the pickle and the bun. I mean, this is your business, and I'm telling you what to do. In the kitchen, my love, you know more than me. <laughs> I had a great day with you, but there was something that alarmed me a little bit. Uh, the, the fryers, the timers weren't working. Oh, yes. Oh, the fryers. We're going to get you a new fryer. At, at Mary Brown's? Yes. A new fryer? Yes. Well, it'll be. <laughs> God love you. You run that kitchen just like it's your own. Do you think so? Yes, absolutely. Oh, I enjoy and it. I was proud watching you. You told me family is everything, but your family is spread out all over the country. And I want to send all of you on a once in a lifetime vacation to anywhere in the world you want to go. What do you mean, somewhere in the world? Anywhere. And while you're gone, I'm going to pay your salary, and you haven't got to worry about a thing. Oh, you sure? Yes. Oh. God, I'm honored. <laughs> Thank you very much. And you know something else? You've been with our company. Thank you much. 
30 something years. Thank you years. very much. When you're ready to retire, I'm not asking you to retire, no, but when you're ready, no. yes. I want you to have peace of mind that I'm going to help you financially to retire. Oh, uh -huh, but I'm not ready yet. Nope, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud to have you. Oh, I'm glad that. That, that. that alone just makes me feel really good, just hearing that from mm -mm. head office. Well, you're very kind, <laughs> I'd say. Thank you very much. Thank you. I can't believe it. I can't believe that. Anywhere in Canada, anywhere in the world. Imagine, can you imagine anywhere in the world? Karen, we had some trouble that morning. We did. Chicken restaurant with no chicken. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to work with the supplier to ensure that doesn't happen again. I was so impressed with you about how much you went through. I was sorry to hear about the loss of your parents and then your husband's illness. Karen, you so deserve a break. I want to send you and your husband on a world-class retreat. All expenses paid, your salary will continue to be paid while you're away. My goodness gracious, wow. wow. <sighs> to sit in front of the CEO, the man that runs this company, is to me crazy. And so, so heartwarming and appreciative. I like the dog treats idea. And I think it's something we may do uh, across the country. And, uh, That'd be nice. Yeah, it's a great idea. And I learned a lot from you. I was certainly moved by our conversation. And, uh, you know, you told me someone that's very important to you, but you don't get to see them often. Okay. And, uh, I think you need to spend more time with him. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to give you a VIP trip for you and your father to see the Detroit Red Wings. Oh my gosh. I also want to make sure you see him not just on that trip, but every year, at least twice a year, every year, I'm going to make it so that you're going to go and see him. That's like better than winning the lottery. And, uh, <clears throat> You're an asset to our company and an inspiration to me personally. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. He knows how important my dad is to me. So to see him twice a year, every year, is, beats the world to me. I learned a lot from you guys. I also learned a lot about that particular store in terms of location. Did not know it was robbed seven times. That was... Something we're not proud of. <laughs> I want to move you and the entire staff down the road to the new location on Freshwater Road. Complete with drive through and, of course, deliveries. Absolutely wonderful. Beautiful. And Gary, I heard about your big wedding. Gary, you're an asset to Jeff's store. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to give you a wedding present. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to, to buy you, I'm gonna buy you and Linda a new home. <laughs> and, um, and you'll never have a mortgage payment in your life. To see him today get this uh, is just absolutely amazing. And, and I couldn't be happier for him. Him and Linda. I got to work to ensure the rest of the people in my company are also rewarded. Because I, I believe it's the right thing to do. And many times in my life, I had a choice between doing the right thing and doing what you're supposed to do in business. I did the right thing, and it's worked for me.